Good afternoon, everyone, and thanks for letting me introduce your Energy East section of your Freedom Conference. Thanks very much to Danny for inviting me to do that. I believe that there needs to be a new citizens' initiative in Canada from coast to coast, or at least from Alberta to the Atlantic, called Canadians for Energy East. And the slogan should be, I believe, oil from Canada for Canada. There are a lot of pipeline proposals. There's a lot of issues about shutting down coal plants, etc. But the opposition is extremely focused and well organized. And if we can't build Energy East, we can't build anything and won't get our way on any of these issues. If we can build Energy East, which is the most logical pipeline to support from a citizen's point of view in Canada, then we might be able to build something else. Canada is importing $20 billion worth of oil from overseas. And much of that, all of which is coming in tankers, except for some from the United States, is coming from five corrupt countries overseas. A third of Quebec's oil imports come from Algeria, Kazakhstan, Nigeria, Angola, and Azerbaijan. You can see that I'm having to look at my notes. But that is the fact. And what better thing to do than to replace that oil with Canadian oil from the Canadian oil sands and Saskatchewan and in provinces that are actually producing it. The Energy East pipeline will create 14,000 jobs for nine years and then hundreds of jobs full-time for as long as the pipeline operates. It will create jobs in eastern Canada and in Alberta. That's why it's so unfortunate, unfair, that people like the mayor of Montreal, Denise Coderre, have gathered people around them together to oppose the pipeline when it is definitely in the interests of Quebec and Ontario and the Maritimes to have this pipeline built. A Quebec poll was recently done by the Montreal Economic Institute in which they found that 59% of Quebecers believe that the oil should come from Canada rather than overseas and 41%, a big majority compared to any other opinion, believe that pipelines are the safest way to transport oil. More, more interesting, Quebecers who associate themselves with the governing Liberal Party are even more supportive of buying oil from Canada rather than from overseas and for developing their own oil resources in Quebec, which they apparently have excellent prospects for. So I would say we've got to focus because there are just too many issues to be scattered if we're going to have a strong political groundswell to get Energy East accomplished. And once we get that done, as I say, the sky's the limit. We may then be able to break through on other fronts.